Okay, we're playing Disco Elysium. I've only played ever uh, played that was years ago when I was, you know, starting off. Where I started off as Cal, and this game was very cathartic. Play it again. We'll see what happens. Okay, this is very interesting. The first time I ever played this, I chose one of these archetypes. I think I chose sensitive. Very psychological, a magnetic personality. Unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. That was a very, very interesting playthrough. Thinker. Extremely intelligent. Very bad with people. Knows interesting facts. Comes up with original ideas. Okay. Five to intelligence. One to psychology, I'm going to guess. Two to something. And then four to something else. Um... Extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body. Gets things done, but dumb as a rock. That sounds kind of interesting. Man, playing as a sensitive one, that was so funny. What do I want to do? What do I want to try? Let's 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 make our own. Let's see what happens. Terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible at intellect. Average at psyche. Sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent you are. Fuck, man. Zeke, your musculature, how strong you are. How agile your senses are. Um. Motorix, man. Would that, would that matter much? Fuck, dude, I don't know. Random. What would we just do a random? I'm just going to close my eyes, click a bunch, and then I'm going to click all the way over here. We'll see what happens. Where is it? Where is it? Click. Click. All the way to the right. Click. Oh, God. I saw a number. To the right. Uh, where is it? Son of a bitch. Hello? Ah, I keep freaking looking at the number. Cover the screen. So I can't see any of the numbers. Okay, I can't see the numbers. We're going to click random. Don't look at the words either. And we're going to click next. Oh, well, I fucking see it now anyway. Four to intellect. One to psyche. Five to physique. Two to motorix. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. You want one to psyche? Be fucking emotionally closed off to people. That'll make for an interesting playthrough, I think. Oh, and then we get to apply four points to either, to any one of these, right? That's how it works. Okay. What is this? Flex powerful muscles. Enjoy healthy organs. Interesting. Go to Party Planet. This probably lets you like do like hella fucking drugs or something. <laughs> ah, see? Love and be loved by drugs. What? <laughs> Shivers. Raise the hair on your neck. Tune into the city. What? Interesting. Half light. Let the body take control. Threaten. Odorix. And eye coordination. See here and smell everything. Let know. That's a good one. The quickest to react. An untouchable man. Sneak under their noses. Stunned with immense panache. <laughs> Interesting. Interfacing. Master machines. Pick locks and pockets. Interesting. What the? Straighten your back. Keep the program feet. Volition. Hold yourself together. Keep your morale up. Dreams and waking life. Man, this shit. I had this on like five or six. When I played this, that was wild. Work your mirror neurons. Intimidate the public. Assert yourself. Esprit de corps. Connect to station 41. Understand. Culture. <laughs> Charm men and women. Play the puppet master. Wield raw intellectual power, deduce the world, call upon all your knowledge, produce fascinating trivia, practice the art of persuasion. This might be so... Oh my god! Okay, hang on. Understand creativity. See art in the world. What the? Intellect is so cool. Okay, if we, if we got intellect and physique kind of up, we might as well... We might as well use them. Set signature. Click to mark selected skill as a signature. Okay, that's kind of cool. Practice the art of persuasion. I kind of like that. I 
kind of like that. I also kind of like half life. Shivers. What does that mean? Tune into the city. That's kind of cool. Rhetoric. You know what I mean? Maybe drama? What? Let's do drama. Let's fucking do it. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. You guys have never played this game. You guys are in for a fucking experience. Never, ever. Simply keep on running. And it not matter. Time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. <laughs> this is great. Give me some more. What was that about the ex? creeps up on you. A mask no, is hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce. It's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the, of the meat, meat thing. Plunge back into the fathomless deep. There. No Ouch. ball of meat. No light. No in light in the nothing. formless nothing. Just nice women. How about you cough up some more of this? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. <laughs> this is amazing. Allons-y. Let's go. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Borough. <laughs> what the fuck are these choices? Not Three. you. Your days of giving a shit and being that type of animal were over. Wait, no, I need to belittle myself instead. Stop, keep seeing. Do you really? Of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness into the The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. The fuck? Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting. Longing. Dancing to disco music. <laughs> Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck, and I'm in it. Stop. I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Take me back to the formless, disembodied the nothing. The liquor rises from your mouth. I know it. Hit. An ungodly headache. <laughs> Help someone cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. Who am I? What sort of creature does does this to their own mouth? Fiery street penetrates your skull. Trying to force fuck? your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. A good priest can make a mighty carriage. <laughs> oh, it's my... See, my first playthrough ever... It was my limbic system talking. Okay. I need a motor carriage. Ah, shit. It's like me this morning. Man, it's fucked up. Look at that picture right here. Walk around. What is this? This magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. 
probably is. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the <laughs> blades. Let's try and grab the tie. You reach out to grab the tie. Oh, fuck. But what's this? Diffuse, radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. What? This grab your chest. Is ah! Oh, shit! It feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving for quite a long time. Oh my god, listen to this guy's fucking voice. What in the hell? Please tell me you're going to talk to us for the rest of the Still ongoing. Now is a good time to start worrying. Finally, the pressure recedes. Oh my god. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. A terrible oh, no. mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. Ouch. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. It's just a little hangover-induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. <laughs> little Bring it on. spots dance on your retinas. It's almost pleasurable. I know the feeling. Let's put some fucking pants on. Okay, you pants are now on. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. Perception. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. That's a broken window there. A shirt. It's in the bathroom. The bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liquors. The water is on. Oh, it's another shirt. Good mirror. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. <laughs> oh, Hot what the water fuck? sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Nothing? Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in, has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was Jesus no mere Christ. night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Yeah, that's why I play. With this. all the synapses <laughs> you've extinguished, it's a miracle you can even think this sentence. You've interrupted a true <laughs> act of self annulment here. Um, As you slowly you. reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Wow, maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah, okay. there is definitely something wrong with it. What? Where What's wrong? Look? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said, I'm sorry. At least my tongue is okay. It's not. It's oh, swollen and snail-like. Wriggling between your fingers. I'm sorry. There you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It <laughs> doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. We're going to wipe you. <gasps> oh my god. Why the fuck did that scare me? <laughs> you have you. no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? <laughs> Whatever it is, at least it's dead now. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? I'm not making it. The face is making itself. Please stop. It's horrible. <laughs> You're scaring yourself. No. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom. God, I don't know what to describe it. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. Is it suggestive? Suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. 
I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad has-been kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> there is such a... It's an expression. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's fucking indescribable. You check yourself for a pulse. Because from here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. Check for pulse. I don't need to. I almost died trying to get that time. <laughs> Getting clever appears to make the expression even worse. Now it's mixed with smugness. Encyclopedia. Formidable. 13. Dig deep into your mind to locate, this, to locate the source of the expression. Oh, shit. Impossible. I might fail it. But I mean, I could try. Again, it says here. We're going to locate the source of the expression. <clears throat> like the rest of you. It comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. We're going to attempt to stop the expression. It's too late. Fuck. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It will what? take a minor neurological miracle for you to see some <laughs> juice in it. Let the mirror be for now. And we move faster at all. Go to this window here. This guy's not doing the well. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus, easy nine. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this More thing? likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. What the fuck? Wow, this did not happen my my first playthrough because I didn't have intelligence that high. More likely a projectile. Okay, hang on. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Something you've done before. Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy. And larger than your fist. See, he's a good cop. Apparently, he's smart. He's a good detective. Because I, because we have intelligence so high. Something heavy and larger than your fist. A bottle or a hammer. Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the oh. corner. Which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. <laughs> if you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I don't need it. I don't need it. The window agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. Sell me some shit. God, I keep fucking sniffling. I'm so sorry. Walk around with one shoe. There it is. And we're out. Hello. Anything I can touch? Oh. Music. There's something on the table. What is it? Money. I'm just gonna steal it because fuck you. Thor. Revachol. Oranje. Oh. Thought. Smell of the sea makes you dizzy. We're just gonna absorb this music for a second, okay? There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet like two baby crocodiles. <laughs> How do they fit? Good. They're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Composure. Interesting. Didn't have that last time. Okay. <laughs>
Very good. Now we got shoes on. Composure plus one. Very good. Oh, now we can run. Or walk. Woman over there. Let's go talk to her. I remember her. Hello, officer. Oh, she speaks. Calendar says it's March. The year is 51. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer. And my military personnel. Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. Uh, no. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman, right? Chief executive <laughs> officer, right? The young woman shakes her head slowly. Okay. Chief executive no. officer. No. You're a police officer, sir. <laughs> um, goddamn right, I'm a policeman. Don't you forget it. You're hitting me. You, oh, you're shitting me. Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. <laughs> all this you've time. Been here for three days, on official police business, no less. Okay. What Couldn't say. That? In truth, so far, mostly drinking. <laughs> Who in their right mind would let me? Be <laughs> Suggestion three, very low. Try the expression. <laughs> um, who in the right mind would me be an officer of the law? Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police Damn. officer. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Could it be because of the drinking? Well, you know, uh, four. I should of get course. going now. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Goodbye. There's some people over there. I know that guy. That's Kim Kinsoragi. Talking to one of my favorite characters ever. Summer door, closed for the winter. Where the lyrics would be. Big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. <laughs> Speakers connect to the radio. The music is... You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. <laughs> People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard. <laughs> through a PA system by other people. It Whether does. like it or not. Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yeah. yourself. <laughs> yes. You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge of my soul. With Serves that. them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Who's laughing now? No one. You have <laughs> to find something tragic to sing first, though. Okay. We'll give it some thought. Hello, sir. A man in his late 20s stands behind the counter. Inspecting, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. Look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. I bet we broke it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Feel like we this is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, <laughs> the part of the world you are in right now. It's the great school, right? Look, your buddy is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my she buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. No, are you the bartender? I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Well, you look like that period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. 
Well, I have difference. three cafeterias to manage. <laughs> three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Where did the Sylvie she go? She just, you know. His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding something. She just what? So now you're a cop. Oh, forget it. The venue has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today's starts in a man's handwriting. This is a water cooler or something. What is this? Uh, yes. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone's working. Do we go there? Bolted. Reserved for, for, for personnel until 1 p.m. Sign reads, Mess Hall Reserved for Union Members. Doors open, 4 o'clock. The Royal Pinball Machine is unplugged. There's an old woman here in a wheelchair. Hello, sweetie. Hello. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods towards the man in the orange bomber jacket. Hello, Kim. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. Aw, oh, shit. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. Well, of course, shake Hello. the man's hand. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. <laughs> I invent a name for your I don't really know my name. Concentration yes. makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor <laughs> rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It is not time yet. Okay, then. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. <laughs> Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Dude, this is so interesting because I didn't have any of this insight on my first playthrough because I didn't have intelligence up. What he means is he has been trying to meet up with you for two days. You've been otherwise <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just talked to him. Uh, <laughs> You're taking me for someone else. Oh my gosh. Should I just fake it till I make it? Yeah, I just talked If you to don't him. mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? <laughs> That's the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. Uh, <laughs> fucking shit. What do I say? Should I just be honest? I have Okay. It. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Look, man, you know, yeah. Does that mean the body is no longer <laughs> in the tree? Dead body? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dead mm -hmm. body? Dead body? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like that. Sure, but did you take it down from the tree? No. So the body is still in the tree <laughs> where it has been hanging for oh seven my days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What a shame. Get to it now. Rip that body down from the tree. Physical instrument. Don't worry about the body. I'll rip it down. <laughs> I'll rip it down. <laughs> Just fucking say that shit out loud. If I told you I'm not really a police officer. <laughs> Can you be so sure I'm from the police, man? I don't fucking know, even know who I am. What are we supposed to do again? <laughs> Let's get going then. You know what? We're kind of fucking embarrassing ourselves. Don't worry about the 
party I'll rip After it it's been up in a tree for that long <laughs> Any kind of ripping is inadvisable <laughs> What if I told you Rory We're a police officer We all feel that way sometimes There is no such thing as a police officer I'm afraid What remains is that there is a How can you be so sure I'm from the police I was sent here to meet a detective from precinct 41 You have the insignia <clears throat> of the citizens militia on your sleeve and on your back I wonder if he would have said that if I didn't put my clothes on. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Inspectorate General means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the Rat Squad and isn't uh, supposed to suspect such things. You mean the Rat Squad? No need for derogatory terms. They're only doing their job. You said insignia. These white rectangles, you mean? Yes. But they're just white rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Ravachol West. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage. But again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. But shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? Oh, shit. I... <laughs> I have, my I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. Not on me when I... Losing I'm... your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I would advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. I can't I can remember see you drank last night and the night before. And that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. Wow. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. A painkiller would be good about now. This thing is pulsating with discomfort. The best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. Ah. They won't have that. So cigarettes would have <laughs> to be... fucking electrochemistry. Uh, let's go. After you, to the office. tell me about the case. Want to know? Literally anything about it, because I can't remember a single thing. Would you say this is a mysterious case? If we're from different precincts, why are we on the same case? That's a good question. I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. You yeah. don't know? I assumed you were in on it. You know what I'm in on? Retrograde amnesia. Better still than an imbecilic cop off. Cop off? It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. So if you yeah. want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Okay, Was there fair anything enough. Else you wanted to know about kind of seemed like a, a hard barrier for him. Hey, this is a mysterious no, case. It's not a particularly mysterious case. Why not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. My mail is 40s, but more do you need? Personally, I think labor disputes are very mysterious. Could it be sexy? <laughs> what the fuck? I think I'm gonna go with the choice that's the least unhinged. Then you are in luck, because we are in the midst of a major strike by the Dock Workers Union. Maybe more than that. The union clearly wants a piece, not just of the industrial harbor, but the Wild Pines Corporation itself. See, I feel like I didn't explore much of the union backstory on my first playthrough, but I should. I don't know if we even can. Is this a strike then? or the first shots in a worker's coup. I expect the case itself to be less challenging than navigating these community matters. This district isn't used to the RCM's presence, and the union rarely overplays its hand, as it appears to have done in this case. Wait, so is this a strike or an attempted coup? Strike, coup, revolution, it's brigandage, however you parse it. Brigandage. You feel something oh. rising through you. A familiar feeling, an opinion taken <laughs> form. We should ground the workers in a fine paste and feed them into the pigs, or feed them to the pigs. Wow. We should ground the owners into fine paste and feed them. With this little foreknowledge, I am unsure which side <laughs> to grind in the pig's feed. The decision was perfect in me. Also national. I don't think grounding one or the other side in the pig's feed will do anyone favors. Why the fuck you talking about? 
about pig speed? What are you talking about? When I said we have to navigate community matters, I did not mean we have any say in them. I meant we should be careful. If we are not, the shit will blow right in our faces. He makes a quick gesture towards his visage where the shit would blow. <laughs> From an imaginary fan. <laughs> now, was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? <laughs> yeah, anything you about tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. I know literally, <laughs> literally nothing about it. Do you want me to brief you? Brief. No, I'll wing There's it. no reason to wing anything. If you didn't get the brief, that's okay. I did. Three days ago, the RCM is remarkably patient. received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. Wow. This tells you something about the city. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. What does the briefing say who the victim was? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Who's the call? To find him or her is one of our tasks here. For now, all we know is that the tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Wow. Now it appears they've started executing too. Shit. We cannot allow that. The RCM is us. Let me just make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find the killer. I still don't understand anything. put this together so there's been a supposed dock worker security guard who works for wild pines who's been murdered people think it has something to do with the current disputes between management and the labor union so what people are thinking is i'm gonna guess people from the labor union killed a security guard working for the corporation you gotta figure out who the security guard is, who killed him, and anything else. Okay, so I'm gonna go with two, because I think we kinda... Just to be clear, we are police officers. It's our job to find the killer. That's the case. Uncover and arrest the killer. Okay. Good. <clears throat> I think you should know that I can't remember anything. You seem to be following me. No response. He just arches his brow. Nice. He's having trouble processing it, believing it even. Uh, there was heavy drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? What's wrong with personal affairs? Not a fan. It's just the nature of lieutenancy. Lieutenancy. The RCM deploys a self-styled structure called the Decomtage as its chain of command. Every lieutenant is responsible for two sergeants and eight officers. That means the average lieutenant has to deal with quite a few personal affairs. Even you know this. So what should I try work on? The case at hand. It can work miracles. That makes sense. But I'm completely lacking in basic information even about even this organization we're in. Fine. Tell me. We should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. I'm afraid this is a medical situation. Really? You look fine to me. Talking deep neurological damage here. I saw myself in the mirror at night. This psychodrama is unbecoming. <laughs> I cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively... <laughs> On an life. unprecedented scale, some sort of major brain damage has occurred. Then you should consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's Lazarus. Is there anything else you wanted? I won't talk about me. you. Yes. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. We'll work together if we have more rapport. You're right. What's there? No, by the late, by the Clark. 
fucking say that? All right. For the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? Class. That's correct. <laughs> that makes him a Beano clone. Completely uncocked material. I'm if you say so yourself. I'm not going to call him a Beano. <laughs> I wear glasses, man, so fuck you. Don't click other people around here. That's because I'm half Seolite or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. It's absolutely interesting. Seoul is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. <laughs> I, you're only making it sound uninteresting. I still want to know more about Seoul. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seoul. I'm a regular Revachelier. All right, fair enough. Tell me a secret about yourself. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ask again. Your brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. What's happening to me? Something the matter, detective? What's going on? It's like you're a puppet in his hands. The lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow, and you seem to regain control <laughs> of yourself. So interesting. Do you ever talk with yourself? What do you mean? You know, when you're thinking, do you ever have conversations with, like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? The lieutenant's conceptualization skills <laughs> must be rather rudimentary. <laughs> so you're saying your brain never just chimes in with advice or warnings or anything? <laughs> what? Think? I do most of my work inside my notebook. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. I love how we've just been standing here for so long in front of this woman. We all have our different mediums. His is written. You're super lucid, yet psychedelic. You don't need office supplies to connect to your nervous system. You're special. What? Oh, I see. That's good. All. Let's change the subject. You seem to be following me. <clears throat> Detective, if I may be frank, you seem, seem to, to be, be in a deranged state. state. You have trouble remembering things. You've misplaced your badge. I cannot let you act in the name of the RCM without supervision until you've regained control of your faculties. This guy is so chill. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizen Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self-organized peace corps of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if you didn't know this? I don't want to go to see But what if I need some me time? Some you time? This is a police investigation, not a journey of self-discovery. You'll still have your evenings to yourself. Okay, I'll leave the self-care for non work hours. Please do. Let's go. This Lena is wacky enough. For the motley crew hire her on the spot you seem to be in a chair Dear, uh, i'm a paraplegic oh my god a paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries like falling from a great height or a grenade explosion a grenade. did you <laughs> In a war. <clears throat> let's let's play it like this. Since I've Maybe played the game before, ask. let's play it like we do know what's going on. Let's let's play it like we do know what's going on, just to see what's going on with the character. Like, okay, let's go talk to this guy. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you <laughs> approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mister Garth, right? You run this place? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57, 
This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. The Harbinger of Ruin. <laughs> In between names. <laughs> right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive <laughs> at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? Of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. That's right. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. <laughs> Why did Sylvie go Haven't away? You asked me that already. What is it with you and this woman? She has nothing to do with this. Or I asked you where. Now I'm asking you why she Okay, went. you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. You fucking do it. asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating <laughs> about that for you? I am a Nothing feminist. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Suddenly he turns up. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard. Oh my the god. Drive says. Did you kill him, Card? No, I didn't. You tell me, Card. You killed him, right? I didn't. I don't appreciate this. What is this? Why did you have to kill him? Do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless. His expression unreadable. Oh, what? Damn, he's like, go for it. He hurt you. Is that why? Did you get some kind of... What are you, an idiot? I told you I haven't killed anyone. Have you killed someone else then? He ignores you. More. Press on. Push through. <laughs> Did you kill Sylvie? Fuck you, man. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> you can't... Where exactly is Behind the this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. Let's go. Sounds Not like a plan. So fast. You owe me 130 real. Slip away unnoticed. <laughs> I don't owe you shit. But what exactly is money? What are you, brain damaged? Actually, I might be. Money is what grown-up <laughs> people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room or or eight bottles of potent blend and Damn. packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. <laughs> is this yes, money? Yes, it is. That's 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. I'm now down to 90, right? No, you see, that's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. What the fuck? But you did take it. The order of magnitude between what is asked of a person and what they have. Darkness rides. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Darkness rides. There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. What happens I'm now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. <laughs> Fuck this place! I'll take my chances on the streets! No, 
Don't. There's no need. <laughs> you really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. <laughs> Call them. Ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. Good luck. Pay for the damages. Damn. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. And this place sure isn't it. I but no you've idea. been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Why did you say that? These are just synapses firing. Doesn't mean anything. They must have some meaning for me. Lieutenant Kinsuragi, do you know a place called Marvel Hill? No. But isn't that an expression? Not a place? An expression? A thing up on Marvel Hill. A great high place. One that is impossible to climb back to. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. <laughs> Gotta trace the way back somehow. The exact street, the exact number on a building. Fuck everything. <laughs> oh, bo cop! You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Internalize. Let's rewind. Let's trace your drunken steps back home. Let's jump across the race channel bridge southwest of here. Fall over. Get up. Get off the asphalt in 20 minutes. Shuffle, with, shuffle your feet through courtyards, carrying little children. Go to the great race motor track. 881 until you reach Le Domaine de Menant. North Jamrock. The streets are frozen this time. You can't come out. Walk down Main to Perdition. There's a side alley there. Oh, it'll finish in six hours. Okay. Um... That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Two An hours. hour would have been bad. Two hours is mystical. You have truly wiped out all trace of yourself if you haven't thought about rum and lemonade yet. <laughs> I've been secretly thinking about it all this time. There he is. The old boy, the devil. You rascal, you. Let's celebrate right now by licking that stain off the counter. Do it. It'll be wild. <laughs> Get your fucking what shit happened, together. man? You used to be... Fuck this guy. The back of his shirt reads Wild Pines, encircled by a logo. On the tree. counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. No idea. Who is this? Looks like he works for Wild Pines, the logistics company who owns and operates the harbor. Why is he sleeping during the day? Possibly because there's a strike going on in the harbor. There's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. The man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. Fix my headache. You've right? just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. There is only one way to wake this bone idol from his slumber. Roar like a <laughs> Rip the buildings from the earth. <laughs> Fuck sleep. Despite the headache and the queasiness, you feel like you've got at least a 10 <laughs> kilometer run in you. That's the name of my employer. I work in logistics. How's that going? How's it going? <sighs> What about the yeah. dead body? What about it? Seem cool with it. Do you have many of those hanging from the trees around here? You know, people die here every day. Someone's found in a ditch. Another one falls in a mano. A third one gets eaten by stray dogs. If someone has decided to die on top of a tree, then how is it my concern? I can tell you this. Trouble's ahead. You have a pretty solid feeling that the man's not just mouthing off. He's strong, but even he has reasons to be cautious here. The trouble's already here. Or else would you call a dead man hanging from a tree? They say your guy was a killer. Your tree man. He has friends. Same as him. Callers. There is only one thing they know well. How to wreak havoc. Everyone. It's a local rumor. Meaning, you 
you're not gonna get more out of me. It was probably his colleagues from the Union. You heard what I said. Draw your own conclusions. That's all I know, and I prefer to keep it this way. The lieutenant gives you a little nod, then makes a note in his blue notebook. The dock worker doesn't answer. His head is already back down on the table in sweet sleep. Oh. Let's see if Kim has anything new to say. Yes? No. Uh, guys, I think that was a pretty successful first episode for this. This is a fucking fantastic. I'm so hyped. Uh, anyway. Bye.